Hello again dog lovers and welcome back to the channel uh, Mick and Bailey on tour he was outside at the moment sunbathing but um, I was recently asked by a, a lady on um, a dog walk what I consider uh, to carry when I take Bailey out on the parks and there's a lot of things that people do carry but I thought do you know what I'll show you what I carry what <coughs> when I'm out and about with Bailey First this small one, small patch that's always clipped onto my belt. Um, you can see the loop there where it goes onto your belt. That's <coughs> on my trousers all the time. As soon as I get up in the morning, put my trousers on, this is on the belt. The second one is this small tactical pouch um, that I, I leave in my car. And if we're going anywhere in woodland, forestry, in the fields, then I attach this because there's bits of kit in here that I know I need to make sure Bailey's safe when he's out on his walk. So let me just alter the camera and I'll show you what I carry in these two packs pouches. In this small pouch, this is the uh, one that's attached to my belt all the time. Um, I consider this is an essential piece of kit for me out with my dog because I consider myself as a responsible dog owner so I make sure that everything is at hand all the time I also keep um, poo bags in my uh, pockets but let's face it we're all human and we can all forget sometimes but with this that's not uh, necessarily the case so let's have a look in this one anyway I don't want to drag these videos out too long because I know people's got things to do and I just wanted to share with you what I actually carry in this right I always carry a cleansing wipe a sterile cleansing wipe that's because if Bailey ever stands on some broken glass or he gets um, a splinter or anything to his pads on his paws I can wipe it clean with a sterile dressing until I get him back to the vehicle, to my car, where I've got a first aid box just for Bailey. Secondly, I keep some sanitizer, hand sanitizer, no water and sanitizer. Small little bottle. We can all have um, trouble sometimes picking up um, poo, but once you've done it, it's always handy to have this and just clean your hands and stir your hands back again th these little bottles you can actually fill them yourself so that's the second thing I consider essential and the third thing I always carry is the roll of poo bags even though I've got them in my pocket I often come across people who haven't got um, a poo bag and sometimes when I haven't even got Bailey this it's still on my belt so I know if they need a, a poo bag I can give them one so that's what I call my daily essentials and this is for when we're walking on the, the footpaths and um, the pavements rather than filling your pockets with everything now let's have a look at the uh, equipment that I carry when we go out for a good walk in the fields in the forest, in the woods or in the fens. Let's get that out. So this is a pack I keep in the car and I attach to me when we go out on longer walks and I thought I'd just share with you what I keep in this. Uh, we'll have a look. Firstly I always take a spare can push it out A spare slip lead <clears throat> just in case you come across a stray dog or somebody's dog's gone missing uh, you can help out you've got a spare lead um, just to get hold of the dog until they can recover their own dog um, then these clips as you can see at the side could be used for attaching the um, to your belt 
I find that tedious keep taking undoing my belt because I've already got the uh, small patch on my belt so I tend to use then to just use a carabiner and clip that on one of my uh, jean loops my belt loops just clip that on it hangs down the side and it makes it a lot easier it's a bit uncomfortable driving in it so by just clipping it on to your belt as you get out of your vehicle um, you've got everything that I think you're going to need when you're out and about it's certainly coming handy for me and Bailey anyway so what do I carry in this right like most people you've never got a pen and paper um, so I carry a small notebook plenty of pages in it I carry a Sharpe a twin Sharpe with the thin point for writing and a thicker point for any marking that I've got to do this is Andy if you've got to take anybody's details um, if you've been in you know you want to make friends with somebody you take a number all right Dan I've often used this because I've caught a couple of fly tippers as well and I always take the registration number and pass it on but it's always handy to have a pen and paper this was actually made to put your mobile phone in so you could secure your phone in there but I always keep my phone in my pocket so what else do I carry right like most dog walkers and dog owners carry some treats I carry a small bag of kibble Baby likes that and other dogs do as troll so if he's a good boy he gets a couple of treats but usually it's for any other dog I've come across that's probably got off the lead I can tempt it with a, a bit of kibble so the owner can possibly get it back but I've always kept that on it I also keep a micro towel I've got them in just uh, these uh, ziplock bags just to keep them dry and moist really that's a, a micro towel so if his feet are ever wet or it's running something I can wipe it all off these can be washed so they're handy bit of kit to keep with you I also keep a pair of uh, nitrile gloves disposable gloves in case he has got anything and I've got to remove a splinter or something from his body I can put surgical gloves on I don't want to pass contamination to my dog because I love him to bits and there again you never know when you're gonna to have to treat anybody I've come across mountain bikers before who's been injured you know and to apply a dressing you need the kit with you and the final thing in this side no, it isn't, sorry then I keep a large carabiner like this one this one is so if I have to just tie Bailey to a fence or to a fence post because I'm attending to somebody else or somebody else needs my assistance I can just put his lead through that clip it onto itself and I know Bailey ain't going to run off and the final thing in this side is his whistle I carry a dog whistle Bailey's trained to the whistle he'll come back to that so if he gets too far in front and I can't see him and they do get excited let's, let's not forget when a dog goes on a lead and he's on a park he's on an adventure he's out there enjoying himself having the time of his life and if he does wander off a whistle is always handy to get him back right in the final side I keep a dog dressing I'm going to put a picture up in a minute of when Bailey ran into some um, fencing uh, on a dog walk once um, he ended up having um, eight staple stitches put in his leg um, but without a bandage he would have lost a lot of blood that day and I bandaged him up as quick as I could got him to the car and had to take him back to the vets so certainly think about getting a dog dressing I mean he's out there having the time of his life he's not looking for danger you're the grown-up you're the owner you're the one looking for danger you've got to try and make sure it's safe for him to enjoy himself what else do I carry a torch 
A lot of people say, why do you carry a torch? Well, if you've been on dog walks and you've been on forests and you've been on the fens and places like that, you know that your dog will go anywhere because he, his instinct is to sniff around. And I've had Bailey, he goes in sewer pipes, he's been through culverts and storm drains. And believe me, whether it's daylight or not, you're not seeing them storm drains. You need a torch. And if you're ever walking at night and you're coming back, it's handy to see where you're going. Or, if you're like me, you drop your keys near your car one day, you need your torch to find them. So people say a torch, but they don't think that they need it, but you do need it. Um, what else have we got in here? Just more poo bags that I keep in there spare. And uh, a couple more sterile wipes. And a couple of tick removers, small one and a large one. Now, that's basically what I think people need on a, a dog walk or a dog outing. Please leave in the comments what you carry with you because don't forget, I'm not perfect. I'm just classing myself as a, a dog owner who loves his dog to bits. So if you carry anything different, let me know in the comments. Put something in the comments. Um, and if you use one of these, I mean, I think they're about six pound. I'll put um, a picture up. They're off eBay. They're about six quid. It's called a tactical pouch or tactical pack. Um, I find it ideal just to carry the basics in and keep that in my car. As soon as I get out of the car, I put him on the lead. Once he's on the lead, I clip this onto my belt. A first aid kit for me, because like I said, I come across a mountain bike who's probably been injured. I come across people who's um, cut themselves and that, and I've always got, this one is St. John's Ambulance first aid bag. I keep that in my car. And I also keep in my car this third aid kit, first aid kit. This is Bailey's own. And I keep um, a tourniquet attached to it. I'm sure you'll realise why I carry that in the car now after his previous incident. But yeah, this is full of Bailey stuff. Now, if you're interested, I'll do um, a video on what I carry in Bailey's first aid kit in the car. I'm sure you'll find that useful as well. But let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think. So... I hope you found that fairly useful, viewers. Um, there's a lot of videos out there for what people carry and what they think they should carry, but this is just me um, going out there, enjoying myself with my dog on a daily basis. So please give us a thumbs up. If you're interested and want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, viewers, thank you very much for watching. On behalf of me and Bailey, we really do appreciate it. Thank you.